Hello there and welcome back to France. Last time we ended with, uh, well, a Regency Council, which puts us in a pretty damn harsh or bad position, depending on how you want to look at it. But even so, we are not looking uh, that bad. We can still make some gains here, try and uh, integrate our vassals at the very least. But other than that, we'll probably not do too much. Um, as I said, we will be having to deal with Aragorn and most likely England, Norway, everyone here, but it shouldn't actually be a problem because Norway is now war with uh, Sweden for some reason. Let's see here, Swedish conquest of Kurland, so apparently it's uh, basically on the wrong side, but even so, I can't hope that the Swedes will take some land. But in these next 12 years of this Regency Council, I'm pretty sure that we'll have to uh, have to try and be a little bit careful, try and start causing them some issues or the other countries that is. Aragon is well, a little bit of a nuisance because they're taking land in both uh, in both Africa but also the New World. But uh, we shouldn't actually be too, how should I put it, uh, scared by it or bothered by it because we can easily start uh, taking them down, simply send them overseas with the same way we do in Great Britain once we get done here. And other than that, we'll be focusing on closing this gap here and taking down Sweden, Norway, uh, Livonian order, basically everything here that can potentially turn into a sea lane and we'll do the exact same thing over here and sooner or later we'll get our way out across here focus on uh, continuing over here so basically what I really wanted to say here is that we'll be taking everything one piece at a time but you can or I can promise you that we will be taking everything it's simply a matter of time so for now I'll be sitting by trying to vassal, no not vassalize, annex Afghanistan, trying to annex uh, Baluchistan, uh, Bavaria, Friesland, uh, everyone that doesn't actually post or have an important function will be uh, will be annexed or vassalized. So uh, we'll see how it goes. We can go for a new idea, but uh, yeah, I think we'll actually just do that. We'll be giving an engineer corps, which gives a bonus to uh, to leader siege, which is also quite good. Land modifier, mon <laughs> land maintenance modifier will also be quite great. Other than that, I've started the integration of uh, Afghanistan. I could potentially vassalize the Timurids, but uh, I'm a little bit unsure if I want to, seeing as uh, well, it's actually quite well. It's actually quite tempting now that I look at it. Uh, these four plus these five, so potentially vassalizing the Timurids here would be a good move, uh, especially since I can have hurt Muscovy through that. So it's definitely something that has to be considered. Uh, but for now, however, we will be uh, well sending these guys back home to uh, deal with the or <laughs> the uh, exile modifiers that I completely forgot about. But uh, other than that, not really uh, that much to be done. Not really that much we can't do either since we can't declare war. Uh, I d I'm actually four relations over my limits here. So Hess, Bavaria and Friesland are all targets of annexation once I can. For these guys, 80, 5 years. For these guys, it's uh, late this year if I get the relations up enough. But even so, it should be, uh, should be just fine. And for Friesland, it's uh, late uh, 1684. So it's still quite a lot of time, but I'll probably have them all ready or in the process of all being annexed by the time we actually have uh, by the time we actually get out of uh, this Regency Council so we'll see how it turns out seems to be uh, oh, a little bit of bad news here Holstein was uh, actually uh, well taken by Sweden but why am I taking <laughs> saying it's a bad news that's actually quite great news uh, the fact that Holstein has now been integrated by Sweden means that I will be declaring war on Sweden pretty damn soon with the goal of taking one province that I can well Rebirt Holstein or the Rebirt, I guess. But uh, with that in mind, it'll be a little bit interesting to see how that turns out. As you can see, here, I've actually just realised that um, that Denmark here is a target of vassalisation, and with that, I can screw Sweden over twice. I guess you could call it. I I really wish I had an extra guy right now. So there's no reason for this guy to actually stand here and support rebels so we'll be sending him home uh, for the purpose of getting the Danish vassalized. I know I'll be going once more or one more uh, guy over my I actually got the claim that I needed to I think yes thank you very much uh, random event for once you actually did your job pretty damn good but yeah as I 
as I said, I will be going for taking one of these because then I can screw over Sweden, get most of Northern parts here. Norway is possibly also ready for. Let's see, dynastic. I can't still not offer them a vassalization, but even so, I can now start screwing them over by taking uh, these lands here. But Sweden will still be one hell of a nu nuisance. And also, I have no idea if I can actually vassalize Norway by declaring war. Oh, I probably can't even still. So what I will be doing most likely here is taking these three provinces and these two. Uh, they're not worth much, but at least they'll bring down the vassalization cost of Norway, so I can vassalize them in a war. Uh, with that, I can also then uh, do a reboost or take most of the coastline here by uh, by doing that, and also by taking Anna or uh, yeah, well, crush them. I guess we have the forces and we have nothing better to fight, so we'll be crushing those uh, local nobles. But yeah, as I said, the goal will be once we're out of the Regency to get into a war with uh, with the uh, with the Swedish to start causing some trouble here. Get Denmark now into a uh, vas or vassalize them for us, which will allow me to uh, start causing some trouble for or extra trouble for Sweden, since I believe the Danes have a lot of yeah they have a lot of claims on or cores that are Swedish or just fine, but even so. It will help to simply vassalize peacefully and next them, but it will be getting a lot of uh, a lot of hurt, so to speak. Now, once I actually integrate uh, these other vassals of mine, so it will take a while to actually, if that ball starts rolling, it will take a while to actually annex some vassals. But vassals like Denmark and Shun, Delhi, Malva to some extent, aren't actually vassals that where something like that poses a uh, a problem simply because of the fact that uh, that uh, I'll be handing over provinces to them I can get a 200 boost simply from that so that's not actually the issue here the issue will be if I can actually uh, get them annexed before too too much uh, how can I put it uh, crap happens so we will be now or we'll try now to get Denmark vassalized and probably try and see if we can get someone else. The fact that Sweden integrated Holstein is probably the best thing uh, for me they could have done. So hopefully now we can uh, get Sweden or Denmark as a vassal and then start causing some trouble for Sweden once we uh, once we are done with this regency. Baluchistan is now uh, well integrated and that gives us a holy war on Persia and uh, well that lie it seemed so that's good. Other than that not really much uh, to happen and we'll simply destroy the armies that I don't actually have any use for. No extra navy so that's fine um, but there is one little issue here that I just realized that and that is the NX vassal uh, modifier that I get with uh, for example England. Uh, in long term long time when that stacks with the annexation of Friesland, uh, Hess Everyone basically that's that <laughs> that modifier will become so uh, how should I put it large that it'll actually be uh, pretty much a potential thing that will stop my uh, my how should I put it my world conquest the fact that I can't actually annex my vassal I can't actually annex uh, for example uh, Portugal or the PU breaks simply due to the fact that. Uh, that I don't actually have enough, uh, I don't actually have enough relation. But as you can see, I took the regimental uh, system land maintenance modifier plus ten percent. Plus no minus. My bad. It's, uh, excuses, excuses. Uh, but yeah, I will be as I said, vassalizing Denmark and most likely do the same with uh, the Teutons. Should make the map a little bit prettier with the uh, full Denmark uh, annexed and also Holstein. So that'll make, as I said. Uh, the map a little bit prettier, but still, I uh, also a little bit concerned with England once they actually get their next mo vassal modifiers uh, a little bit too high. But even so, uh, it's probably a hundred years before I even think about annexing them. So I can get it to about 320, and then even so, I will be fine. So we'll see how this actually plays out if I can somewhere or another turn this around and make it into something good but uh, we're closing in at least on the end of the Regency Council six years remaining and I think I can now also start or at least very soon start the annexation of Bavaria which I could 
and we'll also start annexing Friesland as soon as possible. Let's see, we are having these guys. Once this guy is done with Denmark, I will. Uh, I will start annexing some other people here, like uh, these guys. It'll be a little bit wild though. 9th of April, and then I can start. Do I actually have a relationship guy here? Yeah, I do. So once he has actually boosted the relations up till the pro appropriate, he'll start the annexation of Marwa, Marvar, which basically wasn't anything that I needed to do. So that's my bad. But even so, once we actually are done with this, there'll be a lot of wars. Valio, uh, Ming, Show. There's a there's a lot of targets that I will be fighting. So I'll probably start a five, no, not a five, three, four front war, something like that. Uh, pretty in qu pretty quick succession so that we can start getting back to this because Regency Councils are basically as a kingdom the thing that will slow you down that will screw you over so hopefully we can to some extent uh, bypass that and for some reason I have not gotten any warnings when these guys have changed uh, changed their uh, alliance or something allegiance I guess it is so I'll be simply using all my points now I thought I actually had control over everyone, turned out to be wrong. But yeah, I'll start the annexation of Friesland once we reach that, and hopefully I can uh, I can get them before we get into more trouble. So uh, I'll try to do that and then I'll get back to you. I have no idea how the Protestant reform thingy works, but apparently I have a Protestant <laughs> province now in India. And I find that very weird. I haven't actually seen that before in any game, so that's a kind of a surprise, but even so, we'll have to deal with it, I guess. Um, not really much to report here. Denmark is uh, like, basically ready. I didn't pay attention to them, and this is my result. Vassalization has been offered, and vassalization will most likely be accepted. The problem now is to get Friesland up to, uh, up to the relation where they will actually accept my... Uh, my... Uh, how should I put it? My uh, uh, my annexation officer. We'll bribe them first, and then we will uh, basically get the last from uh, relations. I think, yeah, improve relation, and hopefully we can start the annexation before we annex the next vassal, which is uh, when. Let's take a quick look at that by going down here, which is April next year. So I think we will be able to start it before then. So I shouldn't actually have any uh, any problems on that term. Uh, even so. I believe that is basically the annexation of all my vassals in uh, all my vassals in the Holy Roman Empire that I want to annex. Byzantium has still been a very long time vassal, and yeah, Afghanistan. So basically, that's the four that I want to annex right now. And also, once I get that guy or my guy back, it's tempting to no. It seems that Finland has lost almost all their cores, so no reason to try and release them. But well, that sucks. Uh, Sweden will be a little bit of a tough cookie then to deal with, but I think I can feed the provinces to either the Danish or the Norwegians. We'll have to see how how it turns out, but hopefully I can do just that. So uh, we'll see how it turns out. Increase in admin tech, which gives a production efficiency increase by 10%, always good. And we have also uh, annexed, uh, well, Afghanistan, which also puts me in a very good position. What I can do now, as you see here, is go after the Timurids, have them released, actually. Uh, but that's a little bit troublesome because some of my provinces, I believe, are Timurid as it is. So let's see here. Create Rub Basel. And. Yes, I've got. Nope. Where are all the. Can't I release the Timurids? Nope, doesn't look like it, so. See if they lost their course. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned. Can I actually release Holstein? No. So, even so. But I still need just one Swedish uh, province that is or has Holstein. I guess you could say. So, I'll be using that to my advantage here in the terms of getting it. And then I will be growing Holstein and Denmark and screwing Sweden that way. Hopefully, it will push them into thinking that they'll have to deal with Norway or take Norway. Which would be the most beneficial thing to me. So we'll have to see how that turns out, but for now if we do a quick little check here on how the annexations are going We'll see that uh, We're going pretty well. I think both of them will actually be done about the time that I get into a or get myself uh, a new king But have I started the annexation of these guys? No, I completely forgot that My bad, 
But we'll start it now, so... 84 now. I guess it's probably thanks to all because of the fact that I actually annexed someone. We'll still have to wait till next year, so hopefully the one annexation won't go through before then. No, we're fine. So we'll have to wait till then, and then we'll start the annexation of Friesland as well. But uh, I believe we'll end it here. We are basically almost done with uh, the Regis Council, three years remaining. So we will uh, take the remaining uh, time in the uh, next episode, do it uh, all at once. We'll probably declare war on Sweden, Great Britain, Argon, uh, Argon, uh, Gvalio, possibly even Kandash, and also Meng. So, a lot of war for next time. Thank you for watching, please leave a comment, praise, criticism, anything you feel like, and I'll see you around next time. Bye!